Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Libra. Um, you could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Libra, happy birthday. Welcome to your season. I hope you're doing well. Um, Libra, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect, and the roles can be reversed, okay? Please keep in mind that I have to give the messages as they are given to me um, from spirit. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear or what you think you want to hear in order to make a buck off of you. I am here to deliver the messages as they are given to me. Okay. Um, so I have to give them, you know, the way that they're given to me. So sometimes my readings can be a little intense. Sometimes they can be a little triggering. And sometimes they can contain warnings of them regarding love or life or it could be for someone around you as well. So keep that in mind. Um, if you need or want to get a reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or situation, excuse me, excuse me, my email is in the description box below. I do offer $10 off for first time clients who get their first reading with me. Also, there will be an extended of this version of this reading that will be linked below. Um, in the description box as well as the comment section below and I have done um, I still have three more signs to do I've, I've got to do Capricorn Aquarius and Pisces to do but I've done um, an in-depth reading for the next three months so next three months future predictions in-depth reading for um, October November December 2022 we look at love we look at life love money anyone you could potentially be dealing with for zodiac signs and guidance and I do that for each month so October November December so if you're interested in that, the link to that will also be in the description box below and in the comment section below. So you can take a look at that. It's, it's fairly priced, not, not really expensive. Uh, if you want to maybe take a, take a peek at that, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Okay, right out the gate, here we go. Mm, they really want to talk for you today. Okay, so... The first card I have out is the haunted doll, which talks about childlike drama and unknown. So there's some type, someone's being childish around you, very childish. They're not acting their age or they're accusing you of this. Okay. The next card I have is palm reading. It says life altering events. So whatever this is, something major is going to change. Something major is going to change with dealing with this person. Maybe they're going to change possibly. Maybe, maybe not, but it's you, I feel like it's more so you're going to change with dealing with this person possibly, but this person is very dramatic. They're very dramatic. They're like, uh, they're a liability is what I just heard. This person's a liability, whomever you're dealing with. Could be romantic, could, could be platonic, a friend, coworker, family member, what have you. But whomever you're dealing with, they're, they're like, they're a liability. And something, they could cause some type of dramatic event in your life. Maybe they could cause that. Or they could be a part of causing it in some form or fashion. But then you also have crystal ball planning for the future. I feel like you're going to have a lot of good things coming towards you or things that you are, you know, heading towards in your life. And the, you know, you really got to focus on that. You know what I'm saying? And you don't need any of this mess. You know what I mean? Because you're shifting. You're making a major shift. You're, you're, you know, you're going in a different direction. Or maybe even a better direction possibly. Whatever it is, you're meant to go that direction and plan for that plan for that future that you're heading towards. And this person, it feels like this person is just going to hold you back in some form or fashion. Okay? Or that is their goal. Why is, hold on. Why is the haunted doll here, please, for Libra? Now, this could be someone you're dealing with, or they may say this about you, but I really feel like it's someone you're dealing with. Why is, um, so be mindful of any drama. Haunted doll. Why is that here for Libra? Snake. Release energy and health. Snakes aren't necessarily bad. In some decks they can be, but in this particular one they're not. You you need to release any drama or not get involved with someone else's drama and bullshit, basically. Focus on yourself. Release, heal, and you know what I mean? And focus on your health, possibly. You have a lot of energy to give, but where are you giving your energy to? Don't feed into the drama. Don't, you know what I mean? This person lives off of drama. They love to create drama. They're a drama king or drama queen. 
okay and they could if you allow it and i'm not i'm not saying you are but if you allow it they could actually feel you veer you off course and you have a bright future you have a bright future coming towards you or you're heading towards it or both so don't let this interfere with your future why is life altering event here for libra owl wise choice silence and new info so a wise choice would you for you would be to not feed into it so silence your this is your energy air energy you're very wise you're very smart you can see very clearly what's coming down the road right for this individual or the situation so move accordingly you, you know what i'm saying you're gonna you're gonna be feels like you're gonna be put into a position to release this type of energy or release a person like this or to release this type of energy and not feed into it right and that will be the wise choice which will which will help further your goal for planning for the future. Why is planning for the future here for Libra? Planning for the future. Why is this here for Libra? Pegasus, making fantasies a reality. See, more air energy. You are making your dreams come true, right? And that's why you have to release this, right? Either you have released this or you're about to. Or so I've been told my readings can be very future predictive. This could be coming towards you, okay? So you might you might be making a wise choice to release this type of drama. Drama. You might be releasing this drama king or drama queen. Because they just start a lot of drama. They just they, they just I don't know. <laughs> they, they they like it. I don't know. They just feed off of it. I don't know. Let's see. Tell me more about this drama energy that you're releasing. I feel like you are releasing this person. Show me the drama. Why is this person starting drama, or or why are they so dramatic? They're very dr they're, they're drama starters. It feels like King of Swords. That's your energy, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You're protecting yourself. You see how that you're you're not feeding into it. You're more like a robot. You're very logical, very, you know, you're not feeding into it. You're not you're not gonna feed into it, okay? This is your, your, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. You're going to take on a more masculine role. You're going to focus, nose to the grind, focus, doing what you got to do day in, day out to achieve making your dreams a reality in the future, right? But you're not going to feed into it because with the eye here, you see very, very clearly what this person's about. You're not going to feed into it. Tell me more. So you're protecting yourself from it. Tell me more about this drama. This person also might be trying to watch you on social media. Tell me more about the drama, please. Four of Swords in the reverse. I would just encourage you to not be, okay, I don't feel like it's you, actually. Spirit is correct me. It's not you. You're seeing this person act very, very impulsive. Very impulsive. They like to drudge up things from the past. They like to target people or you. They... They're holding a grudge. They don't let anything go. They're very impulsive. And you're releasing that type of energy. Whether it's romantic or platonic. Tell me more about this drama energy. They're very impulsive. You're seeing this. You're seeing this. Yeah, hangman in reverse. Pisces energy. This person can't let shit go. This person has got to keep stirring the shit pot. This person's a shit starter. A shit stirrer basically but with a hangman here in reverse the hangman can talk about someone who's very selfish self-absorbed very much a traitor um they only want what they want and they don't care who they hurt to get it and they're very impulsive very impulsive and it's going to get them caught up and you'll feel like you see this coming because remember you're the king of swords male or female doesn't matter you see this coming and you're going to avoid it uh, well i hope because i feel like you're going to release it wise choice Tell me more about the life altering events and the wise choice. The devil. Okay. This person, this could be something on the internet. You could be on the internet. This could be something online. Or someone's trying to get you caught up in a web. Nine of cups here. They're trying to get you caught up in a poisonous web of lies. You're making a wise choice to release. Release, release, release. That's what you're doing. Because look what they're pouring, in, pouring into these nine cups. Poison. It's vileness. And they're trying to get you caught up in their vileness, their poison, their, you know, bullshit, their drama. They're trying to get you caught up in a web. With the devil here, they're very, very toxic. They're very, like, parasitic. 
This person is very parasitic type of energy. And you're seeing this because you're the wise owl. You're seeing it and you're making different choices. You see very clearly. All right, let's see. Let's see the good shit. Let's see. Making fantasies a reality for the future for Libra. You see, you got good shit coming for you. Okay. You have the Empress here. You're birthing new things. Okay. And you don't want them to be ruined. You're standing in your power. The Empress is your energy. It's, of course, Libra energy. That is your energy. You're standing in your power. You're all four queens in one or all four kings in one, whatever. A man could be like an Empress type energy too. Very nurturing, very caring, but on your shit. And you don't take no shit. You don't start no shit, won't be no shit. And you don't entertain it because you don't have time for it. You're busy. Because you're too busy making your dreams a reality. Okay, making your fantasies come true. Your dreams and your fantasies come true for the future. You don't have time to entertain this bullshit. You don't have time. Basically, this person is going to just, they want revenge. The fool card. You're taking a leap of faith. Aries energy. You are literally taking a leap of faith away from this. You see this person, you see these, it could be more than one person, but I feel like it's one in particular. They are watching you. And I feel like they are most definitely watching you online. But you're making it through. They can watch all they want. Right? You're still moving away with the six of swords here. The bottom of the deck, you're still moving on. You're taking a leap of faith. You're birthing new ideas. You're... Creating new things, you're standing in your power, taking a leap of faith, and you're moving away from the shit. Because you're not going to entertain it. You're just not going to entertain it. Okay. Ooh, let me get some guidance. Guidance, please, for Libra. What I want to look at, at, um, in the extended... I want to look at, they wish to be toxic. The nine of cups with the devil here. It's like poison. This person, I i don't know why I'm getting this, but this person is going to end up drinking their own poison. I don't mean like actually drinking their own poison, like actually drinking poison. I mean like this person is going to get, they're going to get back what they've given. They're going to, they're going to end up like screwing themselves over in some way. Somehow they're going to end up drinking their own poison. They're going to reveal themselves is what I heard. All right. Because by then you'll be way down the road, whether that's physically or metaphorically speaking. This will be like a distant memory to you. Show me guidance, please, for Libra. Guidance, please, for Libra. Okay. Voices. Okay. Let's read that. Where's the book? Okay. It talks about encouragement and inner knowing. It says, this card has come to you as a reminder to listen to the guidance offered by spirit through your environment. One of the best ways to connect is to go out in nature, ask a question in the wind, and listen for an answer. Perhaps a plant suddenly moves nearby or something floats on the wind just in front of your face. These are all signs from spirit to you. Ask your question and wait for the powers that be to answer. Be open-minded about the ways an answer can appear. Look for synchronicities or consistent signs that come together to tell a story. Something is a sign if you feel a connection to it, no matter how silly it seems. Trust in your ability to receive the language of spirit. The powers that be will see this and will offer more to you. So you're going, you're being guided 100%. You're going to be guided out of the scenario or on what to move on, how to move next. What I'm going to look at is what is this about this person in the extended? Okay. And I'll get you some more guidance and see who you possibly could be dealing with as well. And um, I will also, so the link to the extended will be in the description box below and the comment section below. I will also link your, your next three months um, future predictions for October, November, December, 2022. Again, we look at life, so overall life, love, money, um, so money and career, and then we get who you could be dealing with. Also, we do um, guidance for each, and I do that, all that for each month individually. It's very, it's in depth. I'll link that in the description box below. It's also in the, I will also put it in the comments section below as well, okay? All right, well, Libra, I love you. Happy birthday again. Welcome to your season, and um, 
I hope to see you in the extended. Take, oh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And take care of yourself till next time. Bye.